Welcome back, y'all, to another race. This is Daily Race C, Autopolis International Racing Course. We're in the Toyota GR86. These cars are really sliding. I wasn't going to do this race, but I'm glad I did. I gained a little bit of points on safety rating and my driver rating in this race. How it happened, I don't know, but I actually got some, so. Actually, it was a pretty good race here. Right, as we fire down the straight. I slow down enough to let them know we're slowing down so they didn't come up and ram. Fish goes fast, moves dead in behind me, gives me a little punt there. I go to the sand pit. Drops me back to 13th. Got one going the wrong way. get back at least where I started at, I'm going to lose more safety and driver rating for sure, at least driver rating, so I got to push, try to get at least three more spots. section of the apex just to get the back end to slide around this a little bit. Everybody's sliding around there. This is a tough one, y'all. The cars are slipping and sliding because they're on sport hard tires. Basically a street tire. You have no brake control, no settings. Well, you got traction control. I qualified with zero traffic or traction, but since I got cars everywhere, I put it on traction three. Uh, we gained another spot. He goes to Never Never Land. They're beating and banging, so I had to ease up. I go around to the inside. I gain another spot. We're up to eighth. I need his place this to be back to where I was. So we're putting a pressure on him, trying to. I want to 
gonna start breaking in a straight line. I usually start, there's a little orange tag in the fence right before the 100. I let off the fuel at that point, and then at the 100, right past the 100, I start breaking. Grab these first parts of the apex just to help get you around the turn here. Big timer. I was hoping they'd battle up front pretty good, but as you can tell by the map up there in the top right corner, they're pretty much spread out like me and P6 is here, all through the track now, so everybody's just trying to run their fastest lap to get caught up at this point. P1 through P5 are A and B class drivers. So it was pretty good. I thought this would be a good race, considering they was way higher than me on the driver rating. And as some of them safety rating was a little higher than mine, but a lot of them, even though their driver rating was higher, their safety rating was pretty bad on a few of them. But this week, if you just barely touch somebody, you lose a ton of safety rating. So the only way not to lose safety rating this week was not race. <laughs> It'd be the only way. trying to keep cautious. I don't want no slowdowns. I'm trying not to get no penalties at all. Just trying to get a little safety and driver rating back. Take position if I can, but I ain't gonna push the point. I 
I just couldn't get in the rhythm. And as I've been racing for quite a while, I'm not, I know if you don't get a rhythm, it's about impossible to do pretty good in a race. You gotta find that rhythm, and I just couldn't find my tone here. I switched the gears around, I changed the traction around. I just couldn't get this car to stay planted the way I wanted it to be. Not like I did during qualifying. I done a 211 in qualifying, and I couldn't even get close to that in this race. 211 is pretty slow, it's about three seconds slower than your A drivers. But I'm still D class, so. But I'm trying to bump up. I think it's coming week, I'm gonna, I ain't even gonna qualify, I'm just gonna start where, the, where they start me. kind of going to do that for the last race I posted. I put two races on one video at WeatherTech and uh, the second race that I posted on it was actually probably the fourth or fifth race I've done there that morning and I just had enough of the dirty driving so I started giving some back so he takes a venture to the left and disconnects and we take P6 which puts me up one position now. I'm up one spot. All I gotta do is hold this position and I'll gain some drivers and safety rating as long as I don't get no penalties hopefully here. To fix my ABS issue I've been having, I just turned ABS on and it started working proper. So I don't like running ABS but it's best to have it on, know it's on, and then it coming on by itself and locking the rears. On the start of the, one of the races at uh, WeatherTech, Brand, or Laguna Sega, Laguna Sega, that's hard to say for me. But anyway, uh, you'll see if you watch that race, there's one gets nailed on the line because the same thing happens. It happens to different drivers, but it's happened to me three or four times. Just like it's like you got your pit limiter on, you can't get off the line. Sit there a few seconds and it'll go, but by that time the race is done for you. Like I say, these really ain't new daily races. We did these races three or four months ago. I think only thing's changed is the tire. I think we had a little bit better tire option last time. I like racing the Toyota G86s, GR86s, but I struggled with this tire selection. I wasn't the only one. Everybody I've watched pretty much struggling with it too. It ain't really a struggle. You just got to constantly fight the wheel. It ain't a laid back race for say when you're driving. You got to constantly over counter, oversteer, and understeer, and everything else. I was driving both feet. <laughs> I got the whole replay saved on the end of this race. There's a little bit of rubbing takes place, but after I got punted, that was basically the end of the, the routing as far as, say, on the dirty part. 
rest of it was just close, hardcore uh, rubbing and stuff. You know, rubbing's racing, but to get that straight, oh, rubbing is like when you side by side rubbing. You know, maybe touching the back end just a little bit, going into a turn or sticking with them. But when you run up about 10, 15 mile an hour faster than what they're running or faster and you nail them, that's just dirty, dirty. But as we cross the finish line here, we're coming up to it. We managed to hold sixth place, which puts us up one position. Until next time, y'all, keep it pegged. Hit that like button and all. Pretty much, thank you. We're back to DD again. Let's see if we got any movement. Up one position, yep. No, we got a little safety and driver rating. It ain't changed yet. Thank you, all